Hi, I promised I'd give you an update one day after the vaccine. Here's the good news. I took a day off anticipating I might have fever, chills, some problems. Not bad at all. I will tell you, I do have a little tenderness right here. I can actually feel where the vaccine was given. Didn't feel when it went in. Didn't feel it till about five, six hours later and it started to hurt, almost like somebody punched me. But after that, over the evening, I, I took some Tylenol, acetaminophen, and uh, over the course of the evening, I slept well, no problems, woke up, and just had that point tenderness. I can lift my arm, no issues like that. So after all the talk and all the concern and all the studies about the vaccine, essentially no problems. So where does that leave me? In other words, if you get the vaccine, where will that leave you on the next day? Well, it makes me feel a little better because I know I'm on my way to building antibodies. Again, fooling the body into thinking COVID's in my body when it's not. So that when COVID does come to my body, if it ever does, I aggressively attack it and destroy it. So that's how the vaccine works. But I take a second dose in three weeks, actually January 12th, 21 days. So when I get that second dose, that's a booster that will help me make even more antibodies and get a stronger response. So over the next three weeks, and I can't tell you how quickly it will happen, but I'll basically build an immunity which gives me about 50 to 55% protection against COVID. Then when I get the booster, over another couple weeks probably, it'll get me to that 94, 95% rate, give or take percent. So what that does is it puts me in a position where one of two things can happen. If I get COVID, I'll probably break it down and, and not get sick or get very, very few symptoms. Or I may not even know I was exposed and get rid of it in my system so I'm not able to pass it on to other people as well. That's the plus side. The second plus side is that as more people do this, not just doctors and people in long-term care, but more and more people in the community, COVID, as it goes around, will have fewer people to get it and spread it so it, it, it'll start to die. Because remember, the way COVID lives is by infecting us. That's its way to live. That's what it does for a living. And if there's nobody that'll allow it in, then it's really going to die out and essentially go way down to a level where it's simmering. Now, it may mutate. There may be concerns. We may have to get a vaccine every year for a while like we do with the flu. But the bottom line is for the vast majority, certainly not 330 million deaths at this point, for the vast majority of people, it won't be a real big problem. But we're at the very beginning, and that's why I'm sharing this information. Uh, but as far as the vaccine goes, I'll tell you right now, if I was sitting here one day later after exposure to COVID versus one day later after exposure to this vaccine, I'm sitting in a much better place. And I think that's what we all need to think about.